Today I wrote about simplicity. It's got me thinking, which is kind of the point of the blog post. What I'm thinking is simplicity is kind of the key to everything. I just recorded a whole bunch of really complicated stuff about the idea of simplicity, and I'm not going to share that with you because the whole point of the post that I wrote was that simplicity is the key to actually accomplishing the stuff that you want to accomplish. You can add complexity to something, that's easy. Making things more complicated, that's just what we do as humans. But the problem is, making things more complicated doesn't always make them better. Now, I was talking about this YouTube channel. I'm just getting started, but I've tried to start for years. I've tried to come up with some topic, some show idea, and what I always did was fall back on my radio and TV experience and design this really elaborate show that honestly should have taken more than just one person to produce. The truth is, my time and my energy are kind of limited. The key to maximizing your time is managing your energy. And the key to managing your energy is to keep things simple. Adding complexity, it's easy. But if you make things more complex, it means putting more energy into it, which means taking more time to do it. Now there's a concept in the marketing world called the MVP. That stands for Minimal Viable Product. And the idea there is you're creating something, you create a product, you create a service, you wanna create the minimal viable product that can go out to your consumer right away. So if I'm a software developer and uh, let's say I'm creating a game, I can create a game and I can make it as elaborate and cool as I want, but the more time I put into it, the more energy it requires. And all that energy comes at a cost. Whatever energy I put into developing that game, I might not be able to put into marketing that game. I see this with my books all the time. I can put a lot of energy into creating the books, but if I wanna market the books, that's also gonna require energy so that's, that's the cost, right? Time and energy are the cost. The simpler I can make things, the better. When it came to this YouTube channel, I kept trying to overcomplicate it, but if I could stop for a minute and say, what's the minimal viable product? Well, now I've got something to work with. The minimal viable product for this channel is this. Sitting in front of the camera with my microphone, talking about the blog post I just wrote or the idea I just had, and then cutting all that down into a nice short video with some cutaways and some b-roll and some music and make it look nice. But I can do all of that without it expending a whole lot of energy and without it taking a ton of time. That's the minimal viable product. And then later I can improve on it. Now I'm only on video two of doing this Who's to say whether this is gonna work out? But I think it will because it's the same process I've used when it comes to producing books. I have a process. I sit down each day, I know how many words I wanna produce that day, and I produce them. That's as easy as it gets. I know what to do and I do it. The rest of my energy can go into other things. When it comes to marketing, same thing. I used to spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to market my books on social media channels like Twitter and Facebook and even on LinkedIn. Those weren't getting me results. If I can't get a result, then why put the energy into it? So I focus on something else. I do talks, I do videos, I go on podcasts, I do whatever I need to do. It's the thing that costs me the least amount of time and energy that I can do the most of. That's it. Just do the simple thing. And a really simple thing, if you wanna support me, is to buy my books. Buy the books, read the books, love the books, Review the books. It's all about the books here. The books are how I'm monetizing this channel and other things in my life. So please feel free to go to kevintomlinson.com slash books. There's probably a little thing that just swiped right across the screen there. Go there, find a book you like, read it, share it with people. That's how I'm gonna grow this channel, but it's also how I'm gonna to continue to support myself and my family, how I put food on the table, and hopefully, and I hope this is true, you're gonna love the books. Find a link to that down in the thingamabob, and you'll also find a link to the blog post I wrote that's related to this topic. So I hope you'll read that and share that and enjoy that as well. So otherwise, do all the things. Like, subscribe, share this video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have just a really energetic time. We'll talk about something else next time. <laughs>